when you see people with the success, with the six figure business, with making millions, and they're all the same age as you, it's so difficult to watch that and then tell yourself a different story. Do you know how crazy it is to think that I thought I should have my life together by now? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, then hey. If you are new around here, I am Montel B and on this channel, we talk all things business, lifestyle, confidence, and more. So if that sounds like the content that you're interested in, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. So today I'm coming at you with a life update because I've realized it has been over a year since I last did a life update. Towards the end of 2019 was the last time I did a life update and that's when I was just returning home to the UK from Bali. So that has been a while and so much has changed within that time. So I thought, let me come on here, let me update you with what has been going on in my life. So many exciting things, so many changes to come and I just wanna make sure that we are all on the same page, okay? So make sure you do grab yourself a drink. My drink of choice today is just a glass of water. I feel my skin has been so dehydrated recently so I need to top up on my water intake, so here we go. So anyway, let's get into it. So I think the best place to start this update would be with my home situation. So of course, when I last did an update back in 2019, I was returning home from Bali. And I did briefly explain in that video why I did decide to return home. I had some opportunities lined up and I also started studying as well. So right now I am back home in Leeds. When I did come back from Bali, I had nowhere to live at that point. I was pretty much homeless because I packed up all my stuff and I flew halfway across the world. So I did end up moving in with my nana and that's actually who I was living with before I traveled as well so I just returned back to my nana's house I don't have a bedroom there so I was literally staying on the sofa and I was there for a couple of months before I was able to get somewhere sorted out for myself so now I'm in my own flat which is really great I've been here since 2019 so almost two years which is crazy considering the minimal amount of work and improvement I've done to this place is just ridiculous. I definitely want to start decorating. I need to start decorating, but I just don't like decorating. I just don't know what it is, but I always put it off. And the one time I did start decorating, so I, I did this bedroom, my best friend helped me with that. We painted the walls, but we literally did about three quarters. <laughs> and then I just got fed up and I left the rest. So this is so ratchet, but there's an area in my bedroom, you'll never see it, that is not decorated because I just gave up. And I think I showed you in a previous vlog, um, when I just did a day in the life, I showed you what my hallway looks like where I just kind of got fed up and I left it. And that's pretty much the same in my bedroom, which is so embarrassing. It's like, Montel, you're about to be 25, sort your life out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I can promise you in the next couple of weeks, this will be complete. So I've got a two bedroom flat, which I am so grateful for. And I'm so privileged and blessed to have this space, to be able to live independently and to be able to afford it as well so comfortably so it's just like i need to start making the most out of what i've got and i need to start really seeing the blessings that i have right in front of me so i will be making a start on decorating both my room i've got a spare room which i want to convert into an office and then i've also got my living room that really needs doing it as well so I'm just like, do I do it myself or do I just hire someone? I mean, the easiest thing is to hire someone, but then it's trying to find someone. And I've just been creating all of these silly stories, but in the next couple of weeks, I'm just gonna sit myself down, come up with a plan and get this cracking because I've got a whole office. I've got a whole office that's just full of junk and clothes, things that I don't need. And I could be using that space to create better production for my YouTube channel, to host my own talk show, which is something that I'm thinking of doing, to have an office just to have a different space. I mean, I like my bedroom, but it would be nice to have that space and I've got that space and it's something I dreamt of for so long and now I've got it, I'm not making use of it. So that's pretty much what home life is like. I'm back in Leeds, nothing has really changed, but you know, we've been going through the pandemic anyway, so everyone's been pretty much inside. So I've just been really loving my own company. I've been inside, I live in an area where no one really knows me around here. So it's nice, it, it's nice. And I'm not dreading it as much as I thought I would. When I moved back from Bali to the UK, of course, at first it was all great. I was seeing my family, I was seeing my friends, I was seeing my new baby nephew. So everything was great, but then the novelty of that wore off super quick. And 
after a couple of weeks, I was like, okay, what are you actually doing here? And that became a really hard time for me because I was like, I just felt like I was living the wrong life. I felt like I came from the lifestyle that I created for myself and I was building and everything was amazing. Then I just came back to my old life in a sense. But then as time went on, I started to see the messages and the learnings and the teachings that was coming out of this new situation that I moved into and now I just appreciate the situation I'm in. The fact that I was able to be home close to my family and my friends as we went through a pandemic is really just a blessing in itself. So I really I'm just starting to see the positives of my situation and realizing it's not the end of the world. And also if it wasn't for me coming back, I wouldn't be in a little Certain, certain. I'm going to tell you about that towards the end of the video, but that's a bit of a surprise. But everything does happen for a reason. That's all I want to say with that. So next, in terms of studying, so of course, one of the reasons why I initially came back is because I wanted to start studying. Now, when I was at the age of going to university so after college the natural progression would then be to go to university all my friends went to university i was destined to go i was always pretty academic so smart and i had my life set up of i was going to go to college do my a levels then go straight to university and study psychology but back then things didn't really go that way and just because i was so independent from a young age i didn't really have that support i was fending for myself i had multiple jobs at the time so it's like okay I had to make a decision it's either I work or I try plod my way through university and back then I wasn't trying to do that I needed to pay bills I had my own place I needed to do so much so it's like it just didn't seem like an option at that time and ironically I also got a job at Mac at that time as well so I was like this is literally my dream job why I'm, I'm in my career now that's how I saw it so I thought I don't need to go to university anymore I've got my career set up so that was pretty much that but in the back of my mind I was always kind of thinking okay maybe I should have gone to university maybe I missed out what what if what if I always had the what ifs but with me and the type of person I am and my mindset I always know that if I want something I will make it happen regardless so I always knew in the back of my mind that if I ever did want to go to university I'll make it happen whenever and because I have been quite mature as well I realized and I understood that me going to university later on in life will actually be a better experience in terms of education now of course the social life and the fun and the partying that will be different and I probably missed out then when I was younger but if I would have gone to university when I was younger in the headspace I was in in the situations that I've just been through like with my relationships my family my having to be independent, what I keep talking about, going through a really tough relationship. If I w went to uni while all that was going on, I probably wouldn't have gained what I needed to gain out of that experience. But now I'm studying with the Open University and I'm studying psychology, which is what I initially wanted to do anyway. So it's like life just came out a whole full circle. And now I'm studying, I'm actually absorbing so much more of the information i'm learning more and i'm able to apply that to life a lot quicker because i've built a business now and my business heavily depends on psychology education humans understanding how the mental how the brain works so it's like what i'm learning now i'm implementing it so much quicker so i'm able to gain so much more out of the experience and it's just laughable to me that when i'm studying Half the things I'm learning in my degree, I've already researched for my business, human behavior, marketing, psychology of marketing, sales. It's just crazy how my degree is so closely linked to who I want to be and to what my business is. So I'm loving university at the moment. Of course, I'm still in the first year because I am studying part time. So with part time, you pretty much take in one year and half in it. So I've been at university since last year. So I've almost completed my second year, but I'm still in my first year. I hope that makes sense. But the fact it's part time is just really great for me. It works. I like being able to spread things out over a longer period of time. And I've just realized, you know what? I'm not actually in a rush because I'm not doing it for the paper. I'm not doing it for the degree. Although that's going to be nice. I'm doing it for the experience to learn and just to stimulate my brain. I felt like I was getting to a stage where I just wasn't stimulating my brain. I wasn't learning anything new. I was just kind of going through the motions of life. I Yes, I was building a business which was successful, but I wasn't building new neurons in my brain. I wasn't learning. And that's when I thrive the most when I'm in learning environments. So I thought, okay, 
let me just go back to uni let's do it now and it really was a great decision i'm loving it so far i'm almost finished for this year i'll be finished in may and then i'll be back next october well yeah next october this october i'll be back in october the next life update and this is huge let me take a sip this is huge and when I say it, you're gonna be shocked. I mean, you've probably already seen the title, but if you know me and I don't think, I don't know if you'll be shocked, but yeah, you'll see by the title that I am actually working again. So I have recently started a new job, which if you would have told Montel towards the end of last year that I would be starting this new job and I'd actually be working out of choice, I would have been like, nah. Montel is all about business, all about entrepreneurship. She wants to escape that working life. She, that's not for her. So I don't know who, who you're talking about, but that's not Montel. That's the approach I would have had. But this year, something has shifted. Something really has shifted. And I'm not saying that I'm not business focused, business minded and entrepreneurial because I absolutely am. But something really shifted this year and it was just, I feel like this needs a whole video for itself. So I'll probably create a follow up to this because I want to get a lot deeper into this conversation. But basically the reason I'm working again is because at the start of the year, I had my business, things was going good. I was getting clients, but there always still just felt like there was something missing and I'd reach a certain level in my business. I'd get to a certain level of success. And then I just felt like I was knocking myself back down and there was just something missing. And I just felt like in order for me to really evolve as a coach and be the best I can be, I need more experience. And it's so difficult to own up to that truth when you're seeing so many people online making an example out of what you want to be. When you see people with the success, with the six figure business, with making millions, and they're all the same age as you, it's so difficult to watch that and then tell yourself a different story. Tell yourself, maybe you do need a bit more experience. Maybe you do, want to go into a different area. And I was just in this constant battle with myself, which to be honest, I'm still in, where part of me is like, okay, you've got this business, you know what you're doing, keep pushing, you're getting clients, you're successful, you're making money, your clients are getting results. That was the side of me, what is the reality? But then in the inner Montel was like, there's still so much more to learn. There's still so much more that you can become. And it's not that you are putting a pause on business. It's not that you failed. It's just that you want to explore more of yourself. And this was the constant battle that I was in. And part of me would then fall onto this side where it's like, yeah, okay, just give yourself a chance to grow, give yourself a chance to explore. And then part of me would look on Instagram and see somebody else doing exactly the same as me with more success and think, I can actually do this. So I just need to go all in. And this is what I was experiencing and you know everyone's situation is going to be different It is literally a case by case, but I knew for me I needed to do this for myself I need to explore different areas of me and I've spoke about this before more on Instagram I've spoke about the fact that I've just felt like sometimes in my business It was taking away my identity and there was so much more to me like my creative side my fashion side beauty side influencing side fun side all of that I kind of just suppressed so I could be more of the marketing head. And that's not really what I wanted to be known for. So I came to the decision that I am 24 years old. I have so much of life ahead of me. I have so much more to learn. And what better way to learn than from people who have been there before, from strong mentors, strong guidance, because yes, I could do it all myself. Yes, I am successful at this level, but I want to get to the next level. I want to be a powerhouse and I want to create real impact as well. So I decided to to take a job well actually I created the job which is a whole video in itself I'm gonna create another video just talking about how I am so good at manifesting jobs because not even to toot my own horn but any job I want I pretty much get like instantly all my friends say it, everyone says it but I pretty much created a job role at my old internship that I used to work at a couple of years ago I reached out to them I basically pitched myself to them I sent an email just saying how I would love to join the team as a virtual online trainer slash community manager so then I ended up having a call with my previous boss of my internship and we discussed the role and we came to the arrangement that I would be the community and partnership 
partnerships manager for the company. So I pretty much got what I want. I got the hours I want as well. So it's not full time. I'm working part time 20 hours a week. So it's nine till three, four days a week, which goes by so quickly. It's something that I really love and I'm enjoying doing. And it's just made me realize it's not actually working that's the problem it's just working in jobs that don't fulfill me it's when i feel controlled and i don't have freedom that's when i don't like working so it could be the same for you as well like maybe it's not the nine to five life that you resent it's just the types of jobs that you resent and you just haven't found the right thing for you. So I'm not saying that this is gonna be me forever and I've totally switched back over to the nine to five because I haven't at all. I'm still business minded and I'm still, I still have my business, but I've realized that this job is really what's gonna elevate me to that next level. This job is allowing me to do something I love. I still work from home. I have that flexibility. I'm not being micromanaged. I'm still able to bring my own expertise into this role and make their company even better but then I'm also working underneath a badass woman and mentor for me and someone that I highly look up to and someone that I'm able to learn so much from so this is just an ideal role for where I'm currently at in life I'm I'm, I'm not even 25 yet I've, I've got five years until I'm 30 years old do you know how crazy it is to think that I thought I should have my life together by now and I know you feel me on this one. I know you feel me. I know that you're a similar age, maybe a bit older, maybe a bit younger, and you feel like you should have everything together. You feel like you only can work for yourself if you've started a business and you can't go back. And I'm here to tell you, you can do whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like is necessary for you, because the worst thing that you want to happen is you regret taking an opportunity that you know could have got you to where you want to be in life because you're too busy watching what other people online are doing. And I'll put my hands up and I. I'll say I was also the same. I'd see people my similar age making X amount of money, doing six figures, all of this. And it really sucked me in and I lost my own self-worth. I lost trust in myself. I thought, okay, why am I not at this level? Why am I not being able to make this money? And I started chasing that until I realized that's not actually what I want. That's not my values. Obviously I want to make money and I want to be a millionaire, but what I was seeing and the life and the values of the people who was creating this money and being these coaches is not what I wanted. It didn't feel good to me. So yeah, that is pretty much where I'm at with that. I've started this new role. It's really exciting so far. I'll definitely keep you updated along the way. I guess that leads me to telling you what is going on with business then. Am I quitting business? Am I not? Yeah. So I am not quitting business. My business is not going anywhere. I have just built my new baby, Brand Your Influence, and that is a business that I see just going so far, but I don't wanna rush it. So although I've got my business and I'm coaching right now, I haven't taken on any new clients recently. I might have a new client coming in soon, but that's someone who found me and applied to work with me. So I'm not actively promoting to new clients. I am really just focused on the clients that I have at the moment and just serving them the best way I can, making sure they have the best experience whilst I'm finding clarity on the direction that I'm absolutely wanting to go in. And I'll be straight up honest with you. I. I don't know yet what that's gonna look like because I know what my skill set is, I know what my expertise are, I know that I'm able to get my clients results in the coaching business I have, but I just feel like when I look at the bigger picture of my life and what I want to be known for and who I want to be, I know that I need to start making those slight pivots now. So like I said, I've got Brand Your Influence, which is my business. Right now I'm serving coaches and helping them build their coaching business. I do feel like that is gonna slightly shift over the next couple of months. And I'm gonna be opening up more to creative entrepreneurs, any sort of creative who wants to build an online business, who wants to share their story and create more impact. That's who I want to help. And I know in my heart, that's what I'm made to do. I'm made to be talking about business, about confidence, about lifestyle changes, about lifestyle in general, but I've kind of, like I say, been suppressing that. So I just need to find a way I'm gonna start incorporating that more into my business and um, more widely into my business. So 
that's where I'm at. But to answer the question, I am not quitting business. I am not going nowhere. Business is booming still. <laughs> I'm still getting sales in from my digital products. So it's really great, but I like the fact I'm now giving myself the freedom to have the best of both worlds. Yes, I'm working. And yes, the online entrepreneurs may say, quit your nine to five, all of this. And I subscribe to that too. I was telling people, yeah, quit, blah, blah, blah. But now I've realized is you have to do what's right for you. And I know what's right for me is getting more of not necessarily experience, but I just, I guess experience. I just want more knowledge because I know that I want to be, I want to create so much more impact and you don't know what you don't know. And in order to know, you have to put yourself in the right situations. So it's such a millennial mindset to feel like you should have your life together by 25 and you should have your business booming and you should be a millionaire. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So just do what's right for you. No path is the only path. You get to create your path. You get to create your reality. So this video has been going on for some time, but the last update, this is the most exciting one for me. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I am actually in a relationship now, which is so exciting. And as you can see by the smile on my face, I'm just so happy with my new situation, my new relationship. I started dating my new boyfriend, Sam, in lockdown. So this was back in August. He's based down south, I'm of course up north and he found me on Instagram. We started chatting, we went on our first date which was so fun, it was such a success and then ever since that we pretty much saw each other every single month and then in February that's when we officially made it official. So yeah, this is, it's just so nice. It really just is the best feeling ever and I know he's probably gonna watch this. Hey babe if you're watching. Um, but yeah, this is like the happiest I have been for a while. And that's not to say I'm not happy by myself because I was so happy, so content. If you know me, you know I love my own space. I was pretty much married to my laptop. We was in a whole six, seven year relationship. I've recently got a new one now. But as long as I had my laptop and Wi-Fi, I was just happy being me. I'm so comfortable in my own skin. I'm so happy around myself, which I know is so difficult for some people, but I honestly love being alone. But now I have Sam and now I'm in this relationship, I just feel so much more powerful and happier than I was and just so full of life, full of energy and fulfilled. And it's only early days, of course, but things are going really great. We're so alike yet so different. We are both the same star sign, which is crazy. We've got a birthday a couple of days apart, but I just feel like things are going good. Things are going really good. It's really exciting. We recently did a photo shoot, which was amazing. The pictures are going to be coming out soon. And I also did vlog as well. So I'll release that soon. But I'm looking forward to introducing you all to Sam when we get together and create some videos together and create some content and you can get to know him. But yeah, he's so lovely and sweet and I just love where things are going right now. And I really just, I'm excited for the future, for our futures individually, for our futures together. Yeah, things are going good. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this life update. This has been a long video, but I feel like it was necessary. It feels good to get all of that off my chest and to share it with all of you amazing people. I just wanna say thank you so much for being here, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it to the end, make sure you drop me a comment. Let me know because that means a lot and I love this community so much and I'm excited to see it grow as well. I know I've been saying that for years and I'm not even gonna, in fact, I'm not even gonna talk because I don't wanna just be all talk and no action anymore. I've done that for so long so I just want to prove to you all that I'm here for you so let's grow this community together and yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already give this video a like and I will see you in my next one very soon